I do think we will see over the next five to 10 years, huge changes in city centres. It was happening anyway with the massive change to online shopping. Retail is changing and and, and areas like Oxford Street uh, and the West End in my constituency, we were starting to see uh, new shops like uh, Microsoft coming in their flagship store for Europe coming into Oxford Circus but they weren't when they when I spoke them weren't expected to sell much in stores it was about uh, building a relationship with their brand and their uh, and, and their customers so we are going to see that changing it was changing anyway I think it's just going to uh, make it quicker we're going to see um, major changes in retail uh, the the big brands will um, will, will evolve. It's, it's an evolution, I think we're seeing. I think what COVID has done is just escalating uh, the 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 timescales now. Rather than 10, 20 years time, we're looking at this decade, and I think we will end this decade with a very different West End. Not 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 a poorer one. I think it will be just different, Carol. I think we will see more people actually. Moving into the city, we will ha- see many of these office blocks turned into residential homes. That's a really good thing for London because we all know we've got a huge homes shortage. Uh, I think we might see younger people coming in, moving into the centre of town. Affordable homes, obviously. Um, they want to have bars, restaurants, cafes. Um, so I do think we've got to see this as an opportunity. We shouldn't be pessimistic. We've got to be optimistic. I don't think there's any choice. Uh, and we have to move with the times. We have but to don't... ensure that planning policies change. And, and that's what the government's looking at now.